Hi, I'm Luke Scott. I'm a teacher at Ankeny High School. And I'm here today to talk about this bill. This bill is an attack on our livelihoods and our professionalism. And I have to wonder why the legislature thinks that they can push this bill on us without any hard evidence of serious problems with the current collective bargaining system. We know this isn't really about taxes. It's about achieving that union busting plan from the GOP platform. The GOP hasn't been worried about taxes as Brandstad and his uh, cohorts give out what is now over $400 million in tax breaks per year, mostly going to big out-of-state businesses. At the same time, they've been chronically underfunding Iowa schools and other public programs. But somehow, now that the state is facing a serious budget shortfall, the public employees are the parasites draining the budget. This bill doesn't even have any public support. No politician, to my knowledge, made this, in, made this issue a major part of their campaign. And Iowans don't seem to support it. I saw about 20 pro supporters to the over 1,000 con supporters signed up for this meeting. Where are the thousands of people who support this bill? They're not here because unions aren't the problem. Unions are good for teachers and for students. Eunice Hahn, a Harvard-educated economics professor, showed that high union membership both weeded out bad teachers through mandatory probation periods and encouraged good teachers to stay for longer, meaning students benefit from experienced educators in their classrooms. And Hahn's research also showed a correlation between high unionization and high dropout rates. Unions keep good teachers, they don't protect the bad. It's that simple. So if this bill goes through, what will, it, what will its effects be? From what we know, they won't be good. Iowa State Professor Katie Swalwell examined Wisconsin's Act 10, a bill very similar to this one, and found some significant negative outcomes. First, lower pay and lack of protections caused a serious teacher shortage in Wisconsin, forcing them to fill many positions with long-term subs and eventually forcing them to lower their teacher licensing standards. Second, teacher retention and district hopping became problems as the best teachers moved to whatever district paid the best, normally the wealthy suburban districts. After looking at Act 10, we have to ask if Iowans think a combination of inexperienced teachers and transient educators will provide the best education for Iowa students. If the answer is no, then we cannot pass a bill that is essentially Act 10 on steroids. In conclusion, I don't see how anyone can logically support this bill. Unions aren't the problem. They never have been in the 40 years we've had Chapter 20. They don't protect bad teachers or give teachers exorbitant pay and benefits. Unions do, however, encourage teachers to enter the profession and stay in it, which research shows is critical for student achievement. Our state needs strong public schools, and strong public schools need strong unions. Hobbling our unions will only drive down the quality of educators and education in our state. Thank you.